And like, have you ever seen what shrimp look like? Yes. Yeah. Maybe. That blows my mind. And then they turn into those weird things. <laughs> Our refrigerator, but some new things that we got. We'll just squeeze into them. Official 2022 New Year's resolution. Hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. So this is the first time I'm picking up the camera since we've been back from Miami. We actually just got back yesterday. You're not gonna tell me you're doing it. I was calling your name, telling you I was ready. So we're headed out right now. Carly has a hair appointment to touch up her roots and whatever else she wants to do. Cut off six inches, that kind of thing. What do you think you're gonna do? <laughs> Barely trim the ends. No, I cut my bangs. No bangs? Because of dance. Yeah. Yeah. We only got, what, five more months of that, so might as well just let them grow until then. This morning, I'm back in the swing of things with working out and eating healthy, so it is three o'clock and I'm just now eating for the first time today. Unless you count the protein shake. I did have a protein shake after I worked out. <laughs> I do that clean, simple eats protein. I really like that, but the brownie batter, so good. But then I was editing the first Miami vlog to get that up on our channel, and it is now three o'clock, and I'm like, I really need to eat. So this is one of the problems I have when it comes to eating healthy. I just sometimes won't eat at all because actually there's really not a whole lot in the house to eat to begin with right now. So when we get back from her hair appointment, I'm gonna sit down with some of my cookbooks and stuff. My healthy eating cookbooks. I have a keto cookbook. I'll show you the ones that I have that I'm gonna pick from for uh, picking some meals out for this week. And I think we're gonna do Kroger click list for our groceries this week, which it's kind of a pain because I feel like lately when you do click list, they don't have a lot of stuff in the store. If you go through grocery stores, Shelves are getting a little bit more bare for just everything going on in the world these days. Shipping, receiving, all that stuff. So when you're going through a grocery store, if you need like a certain item to make a recipe, you can adjust what you're getting and like not get rest of the ingredients. But when you do click list and they don't put, you know, like say your turkey sausage in there and then you're still gonna get all the other ingredients that kind of really makes it a pain. And then I did Whitney Simmons Alive app. I'm gonna do it a few more times before I give my opinion on it. I'm still on the fence. You guys know I'm such a huge Sydney Cummings fan. I don't know, I, it's an adjustment. Whitney Simmons app is like nothing like doing a Sydney Cummings YouTube video to work out. So I'm gonna wait, do it a couple more times, and then I'll give you guys my final opinion on what I like about it and what I don't like about it, I guess. Do you like Carly more? <laughs> they can see the toy. Grandma. I'm not their grandma, I'm their mother. Yeah, they're saying yes. They're saying no. Bean, if you like me the most, take this from my hands. Well. We be a What is the best? Kind? I bet you everyone's gonna comment. Ew, you let your dog lick your face. <laughs> What's the best kind of apple there is? Red delicious. Question of the day: What's the best apple? Speak. 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 <coughs> Louder. Speak. <coughs> Mom is jealous because ever since she got home from vacation, Toby only wants to hang out with me. And we did a test. We put him over here with my mom. And I sat on the couch. And every time he came and sat with me instead. Ready? I'll show them. Tobias, don't leave your mamas. Toby, no, Toby. No, Toby. Toby, Toby don't go. On, Toby. No, Toby. Beautiful roots, Carly. <laughs> That's what I'm showing you. That's I know. the whole point. She didn't get anything cut off. Just yeah, got that. Barely. She cut it. It looks shorter right now though because it's curled. I wear my hair natural every single day. I never do my hair. So you like her to curl it then? I hate my hair straight when it's dark. It looks stupid. What? Yeah. No, it doesn't. <clears throat> it looks really bad. You said you hardly ever wear it natural? I wear it natural every day. Oh. 
when I straighten it, these pieces like literally start sticking out. So I'm sitting here doing <laughs> click list. <clears throat> Carly and I are both just coughing. It is so dry in this house. I'm actually gonna get on Amazon I'm, and like, try to I find. I using a humidifier, but it doesn't work really. I think it does. I wake up every morning and my mouth is a desert. When I used the humidifier before, I felt like it worked a if lot. Only it literally blew into my mouth. <laughs> well, no, it puts humidity in the air. It puts moisture in no, the air. It doesn't work. Anyways, I'm working on click list right now for our grocery store. <laughs> and actually, Ken added a bunch of stuff. Then I'm adding stuff. I went through these cookbooks. <clears throat> this one, the only thing I could find was two oatmeal recipes that literally you could have probably thought of on your own. <laughs> and then I just the dinners, they're just, I don't know, let me show you. Here's some of the dinners. Chicken Milanese, what? spicy Peruvian chicken, Classic pasta bolognese. Grilled squid. Saffron seafood chiponio. I mean, like, look at, look at that. I'm just not gonna eat that. I'm just not gonna eat whatever that is. Ugh, green beans. No, what is this? Oh, Szechuan style green beans. So in this Ooh, cookbook, in Gwyneth Paltrow, her cookbook, I'm making carbonara which is made with some weird kind of noodles i don't even remember the name of but i added them to my grocery cart <clears throat> then i'm making pita bread pizza which probably isn't even one of the healthier choices but you just take pita bread <gasps> with tomato sauce with cheese and then you can do mushrooms that. or pepperoni whatever i thought that might be kind of fun i like asparagus i don't like asparagus it makes your pee smell i think that's a rumor it's not a rumor have you ever eaten asparagus? Yeah. What do you think? I stick my head in the toilet and smell my pee. <laughs> you can smell it very distinctly. Uh, I don't think that's true because I've eaten asparagus all the time and that's never happened to me. And then taquitos, which are made with just the small <coughs> corn that's to tortillas. That's what I mean. It's what like I feel like I went through the book and tried to find the most unhealthy. That These just goes to good. show you how... Look it. My taste buds are geared towards Mexican pastas. What They're is it? coconut key lime tarts. They look kind of good. I don't like coconut. I like all food except sushi, fish. <laughs> Not all fish. Yeah. But there was salmon in my sushi, so. Do you like shrimp? I haven't had salmon since then. But Do you like shrimp? I mean, yeah. And like, have you ever seen what shrimp look like? Yes. Man. That blows my mind. And then they turn into those weird things. <laughs> I just like don't like that. <laughs> Bella Hadid's pasta. What is That's that? That's all over TikTok. Like, it became like a thing and everybody was making it. And this <clears> one <throat> girl said she eats it every single day. Well, that's not good. You shouldn't eat pasta every day. Life is short. <laughs> if I Carly eat pasta every day. I will eat. Pasta. <laughs> Carly gets mad when I start watching how I eat it's because not even like I, I like. Care. Yeah, but it's like we'll go through a drive-through or something, and I'm like, oh, I can't eat this, and she'll be it's like, what's the big like deal? That. And you're like, it's, you're just sitting there, and I don't even know. It doesn't even have to do like we're in line to get food. It's just like immediately. Yeah, you're like, oh, I want Taco Bell. And then I'll say, no, that's too many calories. It's and not you even get like mad. That. No. What? It's more so like. It's just like whenever you guys are on a diet, I feel like calorie is the most used word. Yeah. And it's like we could even be in the kitchen and you're like looking at packages. Oh, too many calories. <laughs> it's just like over and over again. Hey guys, so it's actually a couple days later. And Carly's not feeling very well. It was like the day we got home from vacation. She was kind of coughing a lot and said her throat hurts a little bit. And then it's gradually just gotten worse each day. So that's how we didn't vlog or do anything yesterday. Today I ran and got our groceries. And she's been kind of just eating soup and taking it easy. We had her take a test and it was negative. So that's good. 
the whole time we were gone she went absolutely nowhere except dance so I don't know some people have been sick at dance so she might have picked up a bug from there so just fingers crossed that she gradually gets better these next few days she's gonna have to miss dance tonight because next week she actually has a dance performance so I'm really hoping she feels better over the weekend right now I'm getting ready to take my pills I just recently got this new pill organizer I think I got this from Walgreens like this is what I take in a day it's not a lot but it's two gummy like vitamins and then I have two magnesium one vitamin D and one probiotic so it just it's got to be you know the gummies I think is what takes up a decent amount of space but I really like this got it from Walgreens like I said if you want to find a bigger one like that all right I need to open another one of my little Mio drops you guys know when I was having problems sleeping I wasn't drinking any caffeine because I didn't want anything to like mess with my sleep and these Mio drops that's the black cherry it actually has a little bit of caffeine and B vitamins in it I drink so much more water by using these drops. I go through probably like one of these. This one's almost empty. Maybe two weeks, something like that. And my grocery store for some reason seems to sell out of them a lot. So when I see them, I'll buy like three or four of them. Just as I had told you guys, by doing click lists through our grocery store, I didn't get the chicken breast that I wanted. And Ken said that was fine because we had chicken out in the freezer in the garage, which I did not know. And we also, and I didn't get the turkey bacon either for a recipe that I want to do this next week. So, um, but we actually have some regular bacon in here, so I'll probably just use that to eat it up. Our refrigerator, the shelf is always super crowded. This just has pickles and stuff. But some new things that we got, some Greek yogurt. Here's a steak that Ken's thawing out to eat tomorrow. I use my athletic greens to add to my smoothies. But we got cottage cheese, applesauce, blueberries, strawberries, mushrooms. Here's some shrimp that Ken's probably planning on cooking tomorrow. I imagine he went to the fish market, so he got some more fish. Here's some ground turkey for a recipe that I'm going to be making as well. But nothing really in here. In here, I got some whole wheat pitas, some corn tortillas for a couple things I want to make. And just a typical lettuce, cheese. I've shared this cheese with you guys before. This is my favorite shredded cheese. I love how it's like thick cut. And then just down here, some more lettuce. These are kind of nice when you're looking to eat healthy. Some cabbage, some apples, avocados, stuff like that. And this is what I was most excited about. Because when I drink my protein every day, I like to use oat milk instead of 2% milk and we were out of oat milk and Carly likes almonds so we got both of those. One thing I got while we were out of town in the mail was these two new towels from Geometry. These are kitchen towels. I shared I think it was on my Instagram. I literally have like 12 of these now. Look at how big it is. You can kind of just tell from my height. Way bigger than a normal like kitchen towel that you would get from like Target or whatever and it's kind of got like a waffle print. So it's really absorbent. And um, I also got a lot of the little kitchen, what do they call these? Dish towels maybe, I think. I got a bunch of those as well. These ones are called their tea towels. But this one's really cute. It has kind of like a puppy pattern on it. Here's this one. It has peaches on it. I thought it was really cute. Um, oh, and the nice thing is too, they all have these little hooks. So if you have somewhere where you could hang them by your kitchen sink or whatever, I do not, but if you do, you could hang them on little hooks, which I thought was really cute. And I actually have a code to share with you guys. You can save at 15% on their entire website using OFN15. And I just saw on their Instagram, because I follow them on Instagram, they have the cutest Valentine towels. I wish I would have known, and instead of having them send me these, for this month, I would have picked out some Valentine towels. When I said I had a lot, I wasn't joking. So another thing that came in the mail while I was gone is my first ever order from Spanx. When we were on vacation, I think I was scrolling through Instagram and somebody had shared 
leggings from Spanx. And most of the leggings that I have are from Lane Bryant. They have 10, 12, and 14, 16. And then, of course, 18, 20, and so forth. And I feel like they're really, not all of them, the ones that are the wicking material are um, very form-fitting and kind of hold you in pretty decently. I'm imagining Sphinx is going to be quite the same way, if not more. So I wanted to try leggings from somewhere else because I wanted to get some new ones. And I was actually on the Lane Bryant website and just was not impressed with their selection. Of course, I used some coupon code and got 30% off or whatever. Okay, wow. These are definitely like gonna hold you in and what size did i get i got extra large wow i'm nervous i hope they fit they look i don't know compared to my other leggings we'll just squeeze into them <laughs> anyways here's the ones i got they're kind of like a shorter length i don't know these are the seven eighths printed speckle it's kind of like a green, gray, white, orange tie-dye. Again, the seven eighths. Here's the pattern on those. I really, I really like these. They match my new shoes, which I will show you. You may have already seen them on Instagram. You should have already seen them on Instagram if you're following me there. And then these are called marbled blue and black. These are really cute too. And then these are even shorter. Not a short short, but it's gonna go to like right above your knee. Maybe longer on me since I have short legs. I don't feel like trying on right now, but obviously I'll be wearing them soon. I know I've been getting a lot of DMs on Instagram because I share like my workouts, like what I do and stuff for the day. And today was a rest day by the way, but um, everyone's like, show us what you're doing and this and that because I started doing the Alive yeah, I'm doing the Alive Strong workout by Whitney Simmons, and I've done it twice. I didn't love the first day. The second day, oh my god, I had such a good workout yesterday. So I'm going to do it one more time, maybe a couple more times, and then I'm going to give you guys, probably in our next vlog, kind of like a full review, sort of compare, working out with her app, compared to doing a Sydney Cummings workout. I feel like they're both two very popular trainers in the Instagram slash YouTube world. I had posted on my Instagram shoe recommendation. I just wanted a new pair of shoes, something different. I don't know, sometimes you just need like new cute workout clothes, new shoes to kind of like, you know, get you in the mood, make you want to get up in the morning, put some clothes on, make it a good day kind of thing. A lot of you guys had recommended these on cloud running shoes. And I had actually said in my post, like shoes for running. I didn't really mean that I'm gonna like put these shoes on and go out running five miles every day, but I want whatever shoe I wear to work out, I want it to be comfortable if I go f take the dogs for a walk, if I'm walking outside, if I'm running on the treadmill, like I want them to be multi-purpose. So I wanted it to be a running shoe. And what I really like about these is you can kind of tell, see how like it gets sort of like narrow and then this is really wide. I love that the, I don't know what this is called, the toe space, there's room for your toes to move and your toes aren't cramped in your shoe, which I think is great for working out, weight training, and that sort of thing. I actually moved my shoes around. I kind of like combined a bunch of my sandals and I made three shelves for my tennis shoes. A pair is missing that I wore today, but who am I? What? I have sneakers? Is that what you call them? Tennis shoes? I don't know what you guys all call them. It's just kind of weird. The other thing that I just did was organize this closet because it was kind of looking like a hot mess because I have all my nail stuff organized, our medicines, and then like some bed sheets and towels and stuff. And I had shared on my Instagram that I just am going to start doing my own 
gel nails like painting them with gel polish at home because i just feel like i love going to the nail salon don't get me wrong but i just feel like you pay it's 30 dollars, then you tip and you know i was tipping very generously because it was the holidays it's like i'm walking out of there spending nearly 40 dollars to have my nails painted and it just i could understand if i had acrylics and they needed to be balanced and that sort of thing i can't do that myself I used to a long time ago, but it's, I'm not very good at it, put it that way. But painting my nails, as long as I'm like patient and take my time, I can do a pretty good job. So I started a new category on our Amazon page where I share like links to stuff that I have bought and that I really like called nails. And I shared, this is the LED light that I use. It's by Gelish. This bin here is filled with a whole bunch of different like gel polishes. And since we've been home as well, Ken's been working on the ceiling in the other half of our gym. He actually thinks that it'll be done either in the next couple days or like by Monday next week. So we can move all the gym equipment over there and it will like the whole gym will be officially done. Here's what we're having for dinner. Some stuffed chicken with mushrooms or broccoli. So I didn't really make any like official 2022 New Year's resolutions just because I, I don't know. I just feel like it's so cliche to make the same, I'm gonna lose weight and I'm gonna eat healthy. Truthfully for me, it was more about just wanting to learn to cook more healthy because I just feel like it's not my strong suit. I can, I'm like good at a lot of things in my life, but cooking healthy is not one of them. And I'm a very picky eater, so when I'm flipping through like recipes and stuff, I'm like, uh, that has peppers in it, that has this in it, that has, so I need to kind of like broaden my <laughs> taste buds a little bit and not be afraid to try some new things. So I want you guys to comment down below if you, started any 2022 resolutions and how are you doing at sticking with them just let me know in the comments below i hope you are doing well so far this year oh in reading too i want to do i want to read one book per week so 52 books for the year i think i read 43 last year so i don't feel like it'll be that hard Typically when I read a book, I usually read it within a few days, but I don't read every single day. So we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sorry there wasn't much of Carly. Like I said, she's not feeling well. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye guys.